How come so many rich, powerful people are pedophiles? Rich people are more likely to be famous. Thus more likely to hit the news when they're caught. 50-year-old Tom in the neighborhood next to yours isn't going to get high media attention because he's just another child molester in a sea of millions. He's a nobody. The child molesters that get in the news are usually more extreme cases. Like teachers, babysitters, priests, police, people we expect to trust, and grooming, sex trafficking gangs. I think it's more they have better access. Lots of creeps have to get their kink in watching the kids at the park. This is a stab in the dark. But I assume it has to do with becoming numb and seeking thrills by unconventional means. Once you can buy the world. What else is there? Power and perversion. Are there really more who are rich compared with lower income brackets? Side question. Why are there so many Reddit posts about pedophiles? It's about power. That's just the ones you hear about. Trailer parks have the same problem. Probably a lot worse. But nobody cares about poor people's problems just like shootings have been going on in every rundown metro area in the USA but people only talk about when it happens to kids in rich white neighborhoods. Counselor here who has worked with offenders who've harmed children. One of the interesting things about my work, past work, is that sex offenders who've harmed children aren't usually pedophiles and pedophiles aren't typically people who harm children. It's been a long time since I've seen the statistics but the average person has something like a 2% chance of sexually offending on a child whereas a pedophile has like a 4%. Most pedophiles don't harm children. The single most consistent factor in sex abuse events was drugs and alcohol. That's also true of rape of adults as well. Either one or both of the persons, victim and perpetrator will be under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Sex offenses are the result of power, dominance, and opportunity. The difference between Johnny on the street and Jeffrey Epstein's clientele was opportunity and the ability to exert power on others. Another thing I've realized from talking with sex offenders was that they weren't drawn to their positions of power to offend. They offended because the opportunity existed. So they didn't become teachers, police officers, scout leaders, and pastors because it created the opportunity they needed to offend. Rather they became persons in positions of power to fill the need to be in control. All of the above is only true for what I'll call high cognitive offenders. A lot of offenders are lower cognitive either with a cognitive disability or acquired brain injury. That's its own bag of works and I got myself off topic lol. Anyways, yeah. The same mindset that exploits people plus drugs and alcohol often equals harm to a child. Think of it this way. What do offenders often say? Tell someone and I'll destroy you, end your career, fire you, have you blacklisted, etc. The sex to them is about power and control. The victim is just the person they have power and control over. Since kids are more vulnerable, they tend to get offended on too. It shows how many closet pedos there are. It's just that rich, powerful people don't have to face the repercussions when they act on it. It's not a rich guy thing pedos are everywhere. They just get away with it. The news media does not report on it because the owners of these networks are in on it. You have to be kidding. The family courts have to deal with thousands of cases. Parents have sex with their kids every single day. I moved out of the city. Because I hated seeing the teenage prostitutes. Being used by truck drivers. And other regular people. Yeah feel good about yourself. Blame rich people. 
It's not sex trafficking of minor isn't common as dirt. My conclusion is that pedophiles occupy a greater percentage of the population than previously thought. Rich and powerful people simply have the means to act upon those urges with minimal consequence, a system of power and intimidation. Best legal teams in the country. Bribes and threats allow them to live lawlessly. Probably not that many. But those who are have the means to do it and are able to get away with it. But I doubt there's a correlation to wealth. A lot of kids have been abused by people in all income segments. It's boredom. Humans need conflict and struggle. Otherwise, they push boundaries. When you're rich the boundaries of the law flex. And with it. Morality. Also when you're rich you spend money and never have conflict of whether or not it's a good or bad. Decision. So you end up with this weird need to do something that has meaning. And when you're an asshole the feeling of meaning can seem a lot like hurting people. Being a pedophile is not necessarily correlated with being rich and powerful. There are many average Joe and Jill pedos out there. Now I don't have statistics of data to back up my claim. But this is the internet. It has to be true. Seriously though. There are many reasons why people take advantage of others sexually. This includes their personal history and exposure. Ignorance. Mental health conditions. Cognitive distortions about sex and more. They already liked kids. It's more common than we think. But once they have power. And the ability to pay people off. They then act on those desires whereas most wouldn't or couldn't. You don't have to be rich to be a pedophile. The rich pedophiles just make for better headlines. It's probably due to your skewed perspective of what constitutes many. One of the major issues with internet culture is a lack of common sense. How many people in country X are considered rich according to census data? Now how many actual rich people in the past let's say 10 years are confirmed pedophiles by public records or even reputable news sources? Take number 2 and divide it by number 1 and multiply it by 100. That's the percentage of rich people who are pedos. Power trip. They are used to having everything else in their life. They want the forbidden fruit. I think it is not that there are more rich, powerful people liking kids than other groups, classes of people but we see more of them because they are more likely to succeed in fulfilling their pedophilic desire in a sustainable way than those without money and power. Also, great success in business politics tends to require psychopathic characteristics, which relate to enjoying controlling, manipulating others. I read somewhere that psychopaths with higher intelligence have a better chance of success in obtaining high-ranking positions in their career due to their ambition for power while those who don't have the ability to that tend to prefer jobs like a nurse or a kindergarten teacher that have a relatively lower requirement of education but still enables them to control others that are more vulnerable than them. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.